Warthog Princess. This video is a look at the mini hipsters. I have in front of me four different hipsters. They are all the same style, technically speaking, but they're all a little bit different. These are all within about two years of each other in the timeline. So I found it very interesting that they were so different, but here's a look. Let's just kind of go across the board, one thing to the next. The first thing we'll look at is the zipper pulls. This first one is an elderberry microfiber. It has a short sewn on microfiber tab. Um, the one on the main pouch is a little bit longer, which is actually very nice. These are pretty robust. Then the next one is a retail side black microfiber. It has the loop faux leather zipper pulls. And it's the same for both the main pouch and the front pouch. The next one is the outlet version of the black microfiber, and it has the faux leather zipper pulls that are a straight tab. I think these are probably one of my favorites between these and the ribbons, um, but nonetheless, there it is on both, same for both. This last one is the lighten up version, and this is the Midnight Wildflowers from the outlet. It is rubber zipper pulls on both that are the same. So that's the first thing. Second thing, looking at the stitching itself. So this first one, this is a retail side. It has double diamond stitching is what I call it. You can see with the multiples there. The second one, the retail black microfiber has the diamond, the micro diamond stitching. The outlet version has just the regular diamond stitching. And of course, Lighten Up has no stitching. Next, let's look at the tags. The tag on this Elderberry is a nice metallic, beautiful signature Vera. The black microfiber is a newer version. It has just a tab, a faux leather, printed on there, Vera Bradley, tagged at the two sides. The outlet version has sewn all the way around on that faux leather. It is also printed. It's a smaller print, but basically the same as the retail side, except the way that it's sewn on. I do prefer fully sewn on whatever that's worth. The Lighten Up has a rubber stamped, sewn all the way around. All right, next item. The basic configuration, you can see, they all have a main pouch. Let's see if I can stand them up together. They have the main pouch, they have a zipper, they have a flap. Then the differences start to change. They all have a big slip in the back. So before we go to the insides, let's look at the straps. The elderberry is a thin, not so wide, I don't know, half inch, maybe. Anyway, it's, I don't want to measure it, but the point is, relatively speaking, it's thin. The inside of the back is patterned cotton and it's a microfiber strap. The retail side that came a little bit later in the iconic version is actually a nylon strap. And instead of being mounted on the back, like this one is, this one is mounted on the sides. And it's a wider strap. Relatively speaking, it's not quite twice as wide, but you can see there, about two thirds. All right, the next item is the outlet side. This is the same as the original retail side. It's microfiber, it's thin, and it's mounted in the back between the main pouch and the back pocket. The Lighten Up is the same as that. It is thin, it's actually thinner than the microfiber by about the same amount that the microfiber was relative to the nylon. So curiously enough, the Lighten Up is about one half the width of the retail side microfiber. Keep all that straight. Okay, so let me tuck these back in so we can get inside. Next point of difference or similarity as a case may be. All the zippers on these are nice zippers. None of them are the ugly, awful metal zippers that we all hate so much. So that's a good thing. So going back to the first one, main pouch. Main pouch is nicely patterned with a cotton interior. This one is also patterned. It's a nylon interior. None of these are quilted inside. This one does have the keep charge pouch and the grommet going to the front pocket. 
The outlet version is patterned inside, also nylon, but it's that multi-use, multi-colored dots interior. And the Lighten Up is plain navy nylon with just the printed Vera Bradley on it. All right, inside, since we're at this one, we'll just start inside the flaps. So let me just open them all up because this is a quick look side by side by side by side. Okay, so three out of four have the clear ID on the purse, not on the flap. Interesting. These also, two of them are patterned, two of them are not. Okay, unique. This one is the only one that has this additional inside zipper pouch, which is also patterned inside, very nice, and about two thirds of the depth of the bag. Then when you open each of them inside, you've got slip pockets. This one has three forward and three facing backwards, and they're patterned on a solid purple background. This one, same number, three forward, three backwards, patterned all around and patterned slides. This one, only on the back side, on the purse side, none on the front, patterned all around. And the lighten up version, same thing. None on the very front, three slips on the purse side of the bag. So, which is better, which is worse, which is not, I. Honestly, I didn't realize that they were all quite so same and so different all at once. I like them all. I, I bought them individually for different reasons at different times, and I probably will keep them all. And turns out I only have four of these, and all four of them are different. So whatever that's worth, that is the mini hipsters. Coming up next is the same kind of a review, but with the little hipsters followed by the hipsters and triple zip hipsters. So we'll do four videos and we'll take a look at all the compare and contrast of recent styles and specifically look at outlet versus retail. So that's all for this one. Bye for now.